Hi, it's John Mitchell, Mayor of New Bedford, and this is another installment of the Mayor's Weekly Update. So I have three things to go over this week, all good news. So the first item of good news relates to uh, our state pier, that big parcel in the middle of our waterfront, right next to our downtown at the foot of Union Street. Uh, historically, over the last few decades, the state has run that facility through its Parks Department, the Department of Conservation and Recreation. Uh, and it's never made sense. Uh, the agency that is in charge of beaches and parks shouldn't be running a port facility. Uh, and, and it showed. It's been neglected over a long period of time. It's been underutilized. And uh, I've been uh, advocating for its release to a different state agency. And uh, this week, the governor announced that it would be moving to the agency that we asked it to be moved to, and that's the, uh, and that's the Mass Development, the Mass Development Corporation. Uh, which is uh, in charge of uh, facilitating economic development. So uh, they own the state pier up in Gloucester, Massachusetts, and they uh, have run that very well. Uh, they, that's the only state pier they've run. The other ones are run by DCR. Uh, and so we're making this, this, the state is making this change now, and uh, it's taken, taken some time, but uh, I'm grateful for the governor's support uh, in, uh, of, of our request. And now we can start, really start to move forward with integrating that pier into the downtown and, and better utilizing it as, at the same time as a maritime facility. You have a, a growing cargo uh, operation there that we've really worked hard to, to grow uh, and to facilitate over the, over the last few years. And it's only gonna ramp up uh, with a refrigeration project that's going on there now that'll allow for more cargo to come in during the summertime. Uh, there's a ferry service, uh, as well as we all know, um, that started uh, service to, uh, to Nantucket in the last year. Last year we had 100,000 passengers on that ferry service. That's a lot of people coming into, into the downtown and we want to make, take full advantage of it. Uh, in my view, the maritime operation should continue, but uh, that area, the state pier closest to the downtown should look more like the downtown and be developed as such. So we start to knit our waterfront and the downtown together for the first time in over 50 years. It's a long time in coming, and uh, I think that all those uses can succeed in, uh, on, that big, on that big parcel. It's some eight acres, a lot can go on there, and, a lot, and it can be utilized a lot better, and now we've taken a big step forward. Um, another big uh, uh, waterfront, water side issue that uh, we announced this week was the establishment of uh, a, a corridor uh, around the city, along the water, that connects up the Harbor Walk and the new Cove Walk and all the bike paths in between, and then ultimately the River Walk in the north end. And uh, through uh, a review process that uh, took place over the last few months, uh, the, the name that, uh, that everybody settled on was, uh, was the Blue Lane, which I think is a great name. It, it, uh, it implies, obviously, a, a waterside connection um, all city-wide, a, a straight lane, an uninterrupted corridor that will connect up the entire city and bring, and most importantly, bring people down to the water. Uh, I, I think it's fabulous. It's it really going to be one of a kind in America, uh, especially the Cove and Harbor Walk segments of the Blue Lane. And, and it, I've always felt that those kinds of recreational amenities uh, shouldn't be limited to more affluent communities. Uh, that. That should be that kind of thing should be for everyone, uh, and it will really, I think, uh, in the long run, uh, be a, a point of revitalization for the neighborhoods it passes through. Now, the south end, and ultimately in the north end, and it's also going to bring people into the city. So, uh, it's a good thing, and we had uh, some water bottles made, so with the, with the logo, the Blue Lane logo. So you'll see those in stores uh, coming soon. So we hope everybody uh, has a chance to enjoy that. I think it's really a, a big success for, uh, for the city. Last thing I just want to talk about is uh, the city settled uh, a, a contract with the AFSCME uh, union uh, this week. The AFSCME union uh, represents uh, most of the non-school and non-public safety employees in the city. And it's a, uh, it's a, it's a good contract that among other things, eliminates the first two steps of the contract so that people are not going to be starting out at $11 an hour anymore. It's going to be bumped up to what was the third step. So people, it's in effect a raise in the city's minimum wage. 
Um, we also, uh, there are also some important measures in there concerning uh, residency and uh, GPS on vehicles, which I think will help make, um, make our uh, city employees even more efficient than they are. But I wanted, to, uh, I wanted to thank them for all the hard work that they do day in and day out for our city. Our city government is more efficient than it's ever been, I believe. And uh, it's a tribute to the, to the folks who, uh, who get out there day in and day out and get it done in service of all of us. So I want to thank them for working through those issues and um, uh, we look forward to, to great things ahead. Uh, with all that, that has been the Mayor's weekly update. We'll see you next week.